I. This is the Po Fung, which is otherwise known as the Bao Fung, B A O F U N G. They've just recently changed their name, so it's confusing. And this is the UV 82. I bought it to use as uh, for the two ham bands, the two meter and the 70 centimeter, but programming it is a little bit difficult if you're just using it from the manual. So I thought I'd go through what I've learned, especially if you want to hit a repeater, which has some, uh, it's not straightforward. So when you first turn it on, it might be either in channel mode, channel mode like it is now, or in frequency mode. frequency mode, as you just heard. So in order to get it to change, you just do what I did. You turn it off, you hold the menu key on the upper left, and then you turn it on, and that switches the mode. The UVR5 or 5R, which is almost exactly like this one, um, has a button that you can change on it, and so this one's a little more difficult to use. I really bought it by accident, but here we are. So if you want to hit, if you're new to ham and you want to hit a repeater, first, of course, you have to have a frequency to program. So you go onto the web, you look for repeaters near you, ham repeater directory, they're easy to find. I've already programmed in a few of them. The difficulty is, of course, that a ham repeater listens on one channel and transmits on another so it doesn't step on itself. So in order to do this and programming it, you can do it in frequency mode because in frequency mode, all of these things are set and they hold just for one channel. Or you can do it in channel mode so that you can program several in. But to do it in channel mode, you have to save the transmit and the receive frequencies separately. I've already programmed in several of the frequencies, so I'll do a new one. Obviously, I just picked the repeater tones that are closest to me. So right now, we're in the frequency mode, which you heard when I first turned it on, and we're going to program in this repeater, 145.410, negative differential, with a squelch tone of 107.2, which they often list as a PL. And for repeaters in the two meter range, the offset between the transmit and the receive is 0.6 megahertz. So this would go negative. So it'll be 145 will be the frequency that you transmit on, that you receive on, but it will listen on a lower frequency. It will listen on 144.8 because that's 0.6 below where it is now. So your unit is going to receive on the listed frequency that you saw on the internet when you looked up the repeater frequency of 145.410. That's just an example near me. You will pick one out near you. But you're going to transmit on a lower frequency because this is a minus differential. When you look up, it'll have either a plus or a minus sign. And in this band, the differential is 600 kilohertz or 0.6 megahertz. So it's going to step down to 144.810 megahertz because that's 0.6 kilohertz less. So how do we do all that? So the first thing is we're going to just simply type in the first frequency, 145.410. One, four, five, four, one, zero. There's no decimal point, you just enter it. Then you press menu. menu. One, one. The eleventh one is the squelch tone this number down here, the separate number that it gives you, sometimes they call it PL, and it's 107.2. So you hit the menu, oh, I messed up, sorry, menu. <laughs> Exit. Typed in my 145.410. Menu, one, one. There's the squelch tone. R dash CTCS and it's 107.2. So you press menu. One zero seven two. 
Press it. So obviously pressing menu again allows it to enter and it hit the repeater right away obviously because now I'm getting somebody transmitting on it. So I'm going to turn the sound down just so we can complete the exercise. So that was the receive squelch tone. Now we have to get the uh, send squelch tone. So we're going to exit to make sure we've got a clean slate. Menu, one, three, and we have to enter it again. So we press menu to get down to where we want to be. One, zero, seven, two. Menu to confirm and exit to clear the entry. Now we have to set the differential. This is a minus. So we're going to go, so first before we, well okay, we're going to set the, the differential. So menu 2, 5 gets set the differential SFT-D. It's already on minus so we don't have to change anything. Exit, menu Two, five. If we did have to change it, you would press menu. It will go down to the bottom and then you can use the arrow keys to scroll to off, positive, or negative. So we, we want a negative, we'll leave it there. Menu to confirm and exit to clear the slate. Now we go menu, two, five. I'm sorry we did that one. <laughs> two, six. Now this is offset. Now the Offset for this is 600 megahertz. So now you can see it's set for it's 0 0.6 megahertz. So now it's set for 5 megahertz. So of course we want to change that to 0 0.6. So we're going to press menu so we can set it 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. That's 0 0.6 megahertz or 600 kilohertz. Menu to confirm and exit to clear it. So right now this is the receive frequency for that repeater, obviously we had it correct because we heard the noise coming through right away. Now, when you put it in memory, you have to do the memories separately for receive and transmit or it won't work when you go to channel mode. So that's what we're going to do right now. First one we're going to put in the receive memory, which is just this one, 145.410. So we're going to go to menu and we're going to step through it until we get to memory channel and you have to pick an empty memory channel, one that doesn't have a CH on it. So we press memory to go down there and we scroll until we get an empty. I'm going to use memory channel 107. Okay. Now if you heard that it said receiving memory. If I were to do it again it would be the transmitting memory and it won't work for the repeater because it transmits and receives on a different channel. So unfortunately we have to go back and we have to manually dial in the channel that the repeater needs to hear it on, that we're going to transmit on and that the repeater is going to receive on and that's going to be 144.810. So dial it in 144.810 this is the transmit frequency. Everything else that we've done is the same. So we don't have to change any other parameters. So we're going to go to menu. It's already on memory because we left it there. We're going to press menu again to go down to channel 107 and then listen to what it says. Transmitting memory. So what it's saying is that that's the memory that it uses for transmit. And that's it. You're done. Now, we can turn the unit off, press menu, channel mode. And, okay, and now we're in channel mode and you can hear it's working. So now if the he goes off, I can key the receiver and it should come back to me with just a tone so that we can test it. But we have to wait until this stops talking.
KD2HGJ requesting radio check. All right, well, I guess they're not in the mood to give me a check on that one. Maybe they don't understand English. So what we can do is just to show you is that when I press the key, you'll notice that the frequency goes from 145.410 to 144.810. And that's how you know it's transmitting on the proper frequency. And that's the whole setup. And then you can go to different channels um, simply by pressing your up or down arrow keys to the different channels that you've programmed in. One, zero, three. One, zero, five. So that was the 2-meter band. This is the 70-centimeter band. The 70-centimeter band, the only difference is that when you set the differential, it's 5 megahertz. So here's 449.975. And you'll see when I key uh, the press to talk, the transmit frequency, I don't know if you can see it in this movie, will go uh, to the proper differential. So 444, because, and here it's coming back to me. So you'll see it went to 444 because it's a 5 megahertz difference. And when you're doing that on the frequency, just to show you the difference, we'll go back to frequency mode. Frequency mode. Menu. Go to menu 26. So here it's on 5.0. And if when you are when you enter that, that's a five megahertz, you would just simply enter 05000 going by pressing the menu switch and going down. And that's the whole lesson. Um, I'm brand new to ham. The only reason I put up this video is because this was giving me a devil of a time when I first got it because the instructions are very poor. And I'm sure to people who are experienced, it, it's probably easy. But especially programming it into a channel um, was difficult. So, of course, we're not getting any listening tone now because I left it on the what was supposed to be only the transmit tone. So let's put it back to the receive tone since this is a manual mode on the frequency side. One, four, five, four, one, zero. And I had the exit on the lower one. I should have done this on the upper one. One, four, five, four, one, zero. And there's a reason it's not letting me do that. And the reason it's not letting me do that Menu. is because there is a function on this that makes it bounce back and forth to both channels and will keep you on that channel until someone stops talking. It's called TDR, and it means do I monitor both channels. So if you want to stop you that... That's called dual standby. You turn it to off, and then it won't bounce back and forth unexpectedly. Confirm. 